Hey, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in today to this latest YouTube video. Um, before I get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe below. Um, it will make sure that you get alerts for every um, lecture that comes out on YouTube um, so you can keep up to date with all the amazing information that we can share with you here today. Um, so just hit subscribe below. We'll get into the, today's video, which is a really, really exciting one. Um, it's a new study that has been released um, May 2021, so only, um, only, only a few weeks ago. Um, and this is really important because the title of the study is Evening Wear of Blue Blocking Glasses for Sleep and Mood Disorders. And they've done it as a systemic, systematic review, which is absolutely fantastic, something that needed to be done. I'm going to read from you a little bit from the abstract um, and then sort of weigh in on on some of the points that they raise, which is really interesting. And we've linked to the study um, above now. You can see it on screen, um, the actual sort of abstract and title. And also in the um, notes below, we've put the study in there. So you can go and read it yourself and, and take a look of it. But it's really, really interesting. So I'll read you a little bit from the abstract. So blue blocking glasses known as amber glasses. So those are obviously these, which I think is probably prudent I wear those rather than the yellows, even if it's during the day, just for a couple of minutes whilst I talk to you. Um, so blue blocking glasses, known as amber glasses, are glasses that primarily block blue light. Now, obviously we know that the best ones primarily block blue and green light like these, they block between 400 and 550 nanometers, but you know, some, some of these studies are still learning, unlike us, that, that know this kind of thing. Um, blue blocking glasses have been studied as a sleep intervention for insomnia, delayed sleep phase disorder, shift work, which I must do a, um, a video on at some point, jet lag, again, should do a video on that, um, and non-pathologic pathologic sleep improvements. So blue blocking glasses have also been studied as a treatment for bipolar disorder, major depression, and postpartum depression. Um, and that's all in that sort of dopamine um, cortisol regulation cycle. You know, you've seen videos um, of me talk about the summer glow lenses um, as an intervention for people that are feeling seasonal affective disorder, um, anxiety, and depression. So yes, we know this works. We've seen studies, and this study is saying they've seen studies that show this. Um, so basically, blue blocking glasses improve sleep by inducing dim light melatonin onset by reducing activation of intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells. So to me and you, IPRGCs. Okay, so what happens is the IPRGC cells um, are basically little receptors in the eye, which basically regulate and uh, detect blue light. And when they detect blue light, they can't produce melatonin, but when they can't detect blue light, they produce melatonin. And that then allows you to create this sort of quote unquote dim light environment that melatonin can then be produced optimally and then you'll get a better sleep. So that's what they're saying there in layman's terms. Um, and they go on to say that IPRGC cells, which are in the eye, are the most sensitive to blue light and are a major input for circadian rhythm regulation. So their mechanism for mood regulation is unclear but it may be similar to that of dark therapy for bipolar disorders where patients are kept in darkness for extended periods every night. You know, sometimes you can overcomplicate things. And I think studies sometimes overcomplicate things. It's like, you know, a treatment for bipolar disorder is letting people sleep in a completely blacked out room. Um, we know from the science that we've seen here at Blue Blocks that everyone should be sleeping in a completely dark room um, for uh, optimal health, hormones and, and well-being, not just people with bipolar disorder. Um, and the regulation for, for mood, it, they say it's unclear, but I, I beg to differ. I think mood regulation from light comes from, you know, the, the serotonin and dopamine production um, from the exposure to a lot of natural sunlight um, during the day. And our moods are then reversed in terms of we feel down, depressed and, and unfulfilled when we're under artificial light because our circadian rhythm systems and, and hormonal systems can't function correctly under the artificial light. Um, but anyway, moving on, um, a systematic search of the scientific literature identified a total of 29 experimental publications involving wearing evening blue light glasses 
for sleep or mood disorders. So that's fascinating. There's 29 studies out there that show, you know, a variation of the glasses I'm wearing now as ones um, that, that has been tested, which is fantastic. This is great to, to see. Um, and what would be worth caveating as well is I bet you the glasses they use didn't block green light as well like ours. So I'd imagine any of the results we see in these studies will only be 10, 20, 100 fold by wearing proper science back glasses like these Sleep Plus ones from Blue Blocks. So anyway, these um, experimental publications consisted of 16 randomized controlled trials, which is fantastic. That's RCTs to you and I, published in journals with a total of 453 patients. So it's not a bad cross section. Um, it's not, you know, insignificant. Five uncontrolled trials, you know, probably not the best ones, um, probably a bit anecdotal, but at least we've got six to my, 16 randomized control ones, one case series, one case study and six abstracts from conference proceedings. But only one case study and one RCT were used for acutely manic patients, but both found, interestingly enough, a substantial decrease in manic symptoms with the use of blue light blocking glasses. So it's not just there for sleep, for mood disorders, for cognitive behavioral disorders, you know, maybe children with autism, people bipolar um, or manic depression type um, symptoms and, and ailments. Blue light blocking glasses like the ones I'm wearing in the evening will substantially decrease symptoms of these conditions. And this, what this does is these give preliminary clinical evidence of efficacy that makes blue light blocking glasses a high yield intervention to study for bipolar disorder. So if you've got bipolar disorder, blue light blocking glasses aren't an anecdotal treatment. In this study, they are saying that it's got clinical effectiveness and a high yield intervention um, when it, with regards to bipolar disorder. Um, findings in the three publications for major depression and postpartum depression um, were heterogeneous and conflicting as to their efficacy. Um, so that's interesting. So there was only three publications. Some said they worked, some said they didn't. And that makes sense to me because, you know, depression isn't something that can be cured by managing lights. The symptoms can be improved. Um, same with postpartum depression. You know, a lot of this is, um, you know, major, major um, stresses on the body hormonally um, during these, the, these sort of life events. Um, and to say that something like light or food or, um, you know, positive thoughts, meditation on their own can solve that situation is going to be misleading. Um, and also they looked at blue light amber lenses to treat depression. Um, you know, during the day, cortisol levels are very high because of the amount of artificial blue light we're exposed to when we're in the office environment or at home. So maybe the, the studies moving forward need to actually test the yellow lens glasses a little bit more and their efficacy on treating depression. Out of the 24 publications focusing on sleep, so as you, as you can see, a big amount of the publications available out there on blue light blocking glasses focus on sleep because they're studying the amber lenses. Um, there was substantial evidence, not just a little bit of evidence, substantial evidence for blue light blocking glasses being a successful intervention for reducing sleep onset latency. Now, what sleep onset latency is the speed at which we fall to sleep. So basically, if you wear blue light blocking glasses, you're going to hit the pillow and go to sleep quicker than if you didn't wear them. Um, and that was studied in people with sleep disorders, jet lag or variable shift work schedule. So night shift workers. So given the well established biological mechanism and clinical research showing that blue light blocking glasses are effective for inducing sleep, they are a viable intervention to recommend to patients with insomnia or a delayed sleep phase. I would go one step further and say for anyone out there that even has mild symptoms of not getting a good night's sleep, these are going to be a godsend to you. And in people that have got really bad conditions like insomnia, um, delayed sleep phase, depression, things like that, highly recommend wearing blue light glasses, um, especially the amber ones after sunset. This study has looked at all the studies out there and have come to the conclusion that they're great interventions for all the things mentioned. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed me going through this study with you. Um, and we've linked it below in the notes so you can read more on it if you'd like. And if you can subscribe to the channel before you go, that would be fantastic. And I look forward to speaking to you all again next week.